Hi tea timers. So today I have um, that French tea that's all fruity. Uh, it's called Marco Polo that my friend Sean gave me. And it's, um, I'm drinking it just plain, no cream, no sugar. I'm, I'm being a tea drinking rebel today. Actually, I don't know if uh, cream would taste good in a fruity tea, I, although it's a black tea, but it's got those undertones, maybe a lemon or something like that. So today, let's see. Hi, I hope you all had a good weekend. I'm, uh, I'm wait, I'll have another one more sip. Oh wait, uh, there was a question about this particular. Kate, Katie Sawyer, I love your Emma Bridgewater mug. Did you buy it in London and do you have favorite mugs or cups? And that's, that's I guess what this one is. And yes, I did buy it in London. The reason I have, I got these cups is because my son and when he and, um, and Amy, his, um, she was his girlfriend then, but they were moving in together and now they're married. I wanted to get them something. And so they, they thought they'd like to have a teacup and they got a, a teapot and teacup for their housewarming, um, that were these. And so when I get them, when I drink out of this, then I think of them. So I, have a couple of these and um, but actually this isn't I, my favorite cups for writing and stuff aren't ones that have this one is nice it's a little bit rounded I like ones that have a smoother and slightly bigger grip but but um, but this one this one's a lovely cup don't want to hurt the cups feelings. <laughs> that's so silly but I like one so I I one of my favorites is the one I have that my uh, son made for my daughter, David did when he was little and he plastered this purple paint because my daughter, she would paint very meticulously when we'd go to those paint your mug or paint your whatever, like, um, you know, bowls and, and she would paint like very meticulously. And then the little brother was like, ah, and he thought, oh, Emily likes purple. She had her room painted purple. So he slathered a whole bunch of purple paint on and then he wrote Emily in crooked big letters um, you know in pink <laughs> and he thought it was going to be a great gift but you know he, he wasn't thinking because he's a younger sibling that she, <laughs> she was grumpy when she, he's like no now everybody's going to think I made that <laughs> because of course she's a couple years older so she has more motor skills and so that was just embarrassing um, I don't know if he remembers it or she does, but it's one of my favorite mugs because it has a really nice handle and it's thick uh, so it it holds the heat a little bit more. And when I pick it up, my fingers aren't really aware of it. Uh, so that's, I guess, one of my favorite. And then I have another that I bought on Salt Spring, which is what I based my Solace Island series on, is the Island Salt Spring, because we lived there for a bunch of years because there was this potter who would make them and they had a really... Good. I've used them a couple times. Next time I do, I'll say, oh, this is one of the ones she did. But it had a really nice hold to it and then the pale blue inside, which is not quite as blue as it was once because I've used them a lot. But I have several of hers that I really like because they, again, don't distract when you pick them up. Um, that was a pretty long answer. Let's see now. So, okay, so Crew Man 1992. Would you and Jen ever do a movie together? Sure. <laughs> We'd love to work together. We almost, we were talking about doing a play, um, Streetcar Named Desire, and I would play the sister and she would play Blanche. Um, we thought that would be really uh, fun to do. But, but then the company that had wanted us to do a play for them, to do a theater play, they um, had done street, we found out they had done Streetcar Named Desire like, a year ago or two years ago so we decided not to um if you're look noticing that i've got a, a weird thing sticking out of my hair here you wouldn't notice it uh, other than my hair in the back is really is dark and then i've got all my gray in front but that's just because i slept on my hair wet it's so funny because last night <laughs> i took my shower right before bed and i thought ha i don't have short hair anymore i mean i've got long hair from the quarantine but i don't have short hair so i don't have to always take my showers in the morning or in the middle of the day so that I can dry it so that I won't get these weird things sticking up all over the place. But um, I guess I still do. You just don't notice it as much, but I'll just press it down. Okay, let's see. Oh, and then 
a whole bunch of people. Um, I just wrote down a few names. Alicia, Judy C., Heather Kingston, um, and then 7116, Jubal, Eric Phillips, Cinema Sister. All of you guys wrote and were saying how much you laughed over my um, sister story. So that, that made me really happy. I'll, a bunch of you do. And I just want to say I really appreciate um, all, of your, all of your cozy comments. And I, you know what? The thing is, okay, so I started this. I'm going to, uh, this is cozy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my tea again. I started this because my husband, as you know, was into um, the YouTube. But also one of the things that he had said is during this time when, you know, everybody's having to be self-isolate and be in quarantine, you know, we just all want a little bit of cozy. And, and it's sort of like sending a, a message out in a bottle or, you know, just like a little hello out into the world where it's a safe place and, and, and you know, friendly. And I just... And so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll send a message out, you know, thinking I was doing something, maybe a kindness. Um, but it, the, the interesting thing is the kindness has turned around and it's been such a kindness to me because um, it's just really like you guys write the most beautiful things. And, um, and I can't believe we're like one person shy of 500 subscribers <laughs> it's like we just started this just like five weeks ago and here we are and um it's just cozy like doing this lifts lifts my spirits it lifts my heart um because i just i just kind of feel you guys out there and i feel like um a gratitude so thank you thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for your wonderful kind comments and and for your questions so that I know what to talk about because um because I never know I never know what these ones are gonna be I know we'll drink tea and um and we'll talk okay um Tim Pola says do you listen to music very much who is your go-to artist or band so I'm not a huge, huge, like I don't have my playlist of things. For me, music is more tied up in memories. Um, like um, different people have uh, given me, I guess over the years, artists because they play it and you're in love and they give you this music that first you're like, oh my goodness, you know. But then you listen to it and you associate it two times, you know, to, to, um, to them. And my daughter, she played a lot of music, so I think of her. My sister Becky, like, um, she, she, when she loves um, uh, music, she just dives in and um, plays it over and over and over again. And so some of my music, like, um, I remember. Oh wait, that's a question. Wait. <laughs> so somebody said, okay, so I think it's KNM Lover said, what was the experience like making Masquerade? So, ha, huh, that question tied into this. Ta-da. Okay, so I remember when I was shooting Masquerade and um, my sister Becky quit her job because she worked as a secretary um, and she quit her job to come help me with my children and David when we first started was around eight months old and Emily was two and a half or closing on three and I remember coming back from work one day and hello I'm here because they rented me a little house in the Hamptons on Long Island and and it had uh it was it's a it's a cozy little house and it had uh this lawn and then beach and trees and I remember hello when I came in longing to see my family because sometimes they would come and see on the set but when they got a little bit bigger you know Becky would take them out and, and then I hear this music and she had her um she had in those days you know a uh, tape recorder boom box type thing and she had it I heard this music playing and I go out and Becky at that time she was really really she had Joshua Tree from YouTube had just not YouTube <laughs> from YouTube <laughs> from YouTube had just come had come out recently and she would play it over and over again and I remember her out there and um, 
she had David in a snuggly on the beach and then my my little daughter was there and they were dancing on the beach and Becky when she dances her arms wave like this and she's like she just dances with everything and the baby was on her thing and she was singing at the top of her lungs along to it um um storm brews up in her eyes you know that one and she's singing and little Emily's there and she's dancing and she's singing too and um in her little summer dress and and it was summer and hot and and my heart was just so full to overflowing with love for my sister who had made the sacrifice and come down to help me and for my children and I just it's like one of those memories that you hold in your hand and you you take out every now and then and you polish it and you say this this was a moment of life in in of time in my life and um and I was um I was just so grateful to have her there. I remember she used to like to collect um, rocks, so she would go down with the children on the little beach, it was Little Pebble Beach, and she would find these rocks that just looked like ordinary rocks, but she would say, no, no, look closer, and she'd dip them in the water, and she'd hold them up, and they were just an ordinary pebble, but then all of a sudden, dipped in water, they had beautiful sparkles and, and veins of different types of colors and patterns, and or different shapes, like one's shaped like a heart, or and she collected these rocks, and my daughter did too, and she had a little jar, mason jar, that she filled up with special rocks. And I remember when we finished the, um, when we finished, so, so she'd bring a lot of them back, and so I'd have to say, okay. So we decided, okay, this counter in the kitchen can be for the beautiful rocks that you and the kids collect, and it got full, and then our little, um, window ledge got full of beautiful rocks and then I remember when the movie was over and um, we, ha we had to vacate the house of course that they had rented for us and and we had to um, put the beautiful rocks back on the ocean and just pick a few and and I remember there were there were a few tears <laughs> because it was like almost like um, in putting all the rocks back we knew that this time was over and we were going back to our regular lives with them um, where we weren't together and living in this house together and and um, sharing food and breath and space and another thing she had done is she had gotten um, a bunch of t-shirts because she's a painter and with my children and with me I'm not a very good drawer but she's like no just draw what you want and she had these t-shirts and these paint things with sparkle paint, different things that you do like this and you just draw. And so we drew these uh, t-shirts and wore them until the paint started cracking and peeling and coming off years later. So yeah, that's, um, that's my music experience. I just collect things, you know, that have, like if you were dating someone and they loved the music, whether it was a happy dating or unhappy dating, the music whew, brings you back to that time where uh, usually a happier time or sometimes a sad time but all of it is the mix of life and the happy and the sad I think they're both equally important because um, because when you have those depths of hurt and heart then when you have these moments of happiness it makes them that much more precious that much more like <gasps> and I think it's the ephemeral quality of of that kind of that um, makes it so precious because if we walked around all the time just in bliss then um, maybe we would take it for granted I don't know just like being inside you know we're gonna when we get to go out and just be able to hug people or or just feel comfortable sitting in a restaurant or it's just gonna be such a blessing that I didn't know was a blessing until now that's what I tell myself anyway <laughs> So anyway, I'll see you guys Thursday. Lots of love and um, take care. Bye-bye.